Okay, so hey guys, welcome to my channel. So right now I'm super happy and excited because I'm about to show you one of the most sickest thing which I have ever done. All right. So somebody emailed me this program, which was like the last piece of the puzzle, which I was having for so long. Now, I absolutely love futuristic tools, stuff like CD, Cortana, not really, but I like to make my own Jarvis. Okay, I use Linux systems. I like to customize it. I want to replace standard in uh, with voice in and standard out with voice out. I want to ask my computer what is my CPU temperature and I want my computer to respond. I want to ask anything. I want my own voice assistant and I can do this. I can do this better because I write shell script for my personal use cases i just need you know to replace standard in with something like voice and standard out with voice all right so my voice is going to be standard in and i need to give my computer a voice okay so i was always struggling with this thing and i even tried it before made some videos but now i can literally do this because somebody emailed me this program you know what in this video right now we are going to create a tool which is going to be so amazing it's literally going to blow your mind out and it's going to show you that what kind of creativity you can do right now my brain is making 100 ideas per minute all right so you might be wondering what is piper well it is one of the best thing which i have ever seen in in my life okay so this is like a text to speech but your mind is limited you are like okay it's a simple text to speech what's amazing about this well first of all listen the voice okay let's start with the voice a rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction, and dispersion of light in water droplets. This is just one thing, okay? There are multiple voices and almost every voice sounds better. I mean, it's it's tolerable. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection. I mean, the voice is good. If you don't think this is good, just go back to the speak and then come back again, all right? So now, this is something which you can run locally okay and it's so lightweight it's so perfect uh it's even created for single board computers now let me just you know what let's just forget the tutorial of piper first let me just show you uh the stuff which i always wanted to do i already already had programs created uh, because i knew one day i'll find something like piper and i I knew what I wanted to do okay so for example this TGPT so it's basically like chat GPT for CLI but without any key token or anything all right so it's a simple script what is serial experiment lane answer under 100 words all right so you can remove this animation by the way so for example I have this tool which is basically chat GPT on CLI it you just give some input and it just gives output and I got stuff like voice to text also, okay? So imagine the kind of shit you can do with this Piper thing. Like you can literally ask your system, uh, give me the configuration of my system. And it's going to tell, it seems like you're running Arch by the way, and you are using, you know, NVIDIA GTX 950. So basically voice to text is a script, which I wrote before. I even made videos on this uh, before. So it's basically, I was preparing this for so long. So let me press enter. What I, <laughs> sorry uh, let's just run it again what i wouldn't give to be normal is to live in the bubble barber okay it sometimes it makes some mistakes but as you can see it's almost correct okay so now let's just use piper okay let's just uh, go to piper github and let me just create this tool let me just mix all these three programs all right so in order to install it um you may have to go to installation let's just copy this link uh, create a directory yt go to yt look at this so you if you are smart enough you are already having ideas what i'm about to create but this is just one idea okay there are lots of things you can do you can mix chat gpt with your own system files um, so let's just unzip it piper we got this directory so let me just delete this uh, let me just quickly show you now what you can do is here you can download the voices so there are tons of voices where is okay this is the link it's going to take us to hugging face and let's just go to english and then let's just go to us english uh, you can also go to great britain in india many people when they speak english they speak british english because britishers ruled us now let's just go to amy or you can also go to 
what what was my favorite voice okay let's go to amy uh or wait let's go to uh live our rates i like this voice okay so hi so there are multiple qualities high low let's just download so it's downloaded uh now let's just from the downloads en this is the json okay so there are two files which is about to get download one is this json and one is this file only don't care about these things so right now it's getting downloaded so i'm so excited to mix all these things and create one program which is going to be my first program i can create many other programs like um, like imagine the output of neofetch uh, getting into chat gpt and um, giving us the output which is like a natural audio basically okay so it's downloaded uh, let's just move the model to all right so we got these two files here which we need uh, this is basically our model one this and this let's use vimv to rename this file because you have to rename the you need to basically make the file name of this and this equal uh you know accept this all right so now let's just use piper all right so let's just go back to github so the way to use piper is this all right instead of this model we need to provide our model which is en underscore tab and all right if i press enter it's going to create this welcome dot wave file let's just use mpb welcome to the world of speech synthesis bro this is so cool okay so we did this we we did the hello world of piper now uh, there is one more thing you can do instead of creating this annoying uh, welcome dot wave file uh, this file here this file what i can do is i can pipe the raw output into a play a play is something you can get with elsa utils so if i press enter okay it's giving me error because of the model we need to change the model to our model an underscore press enter this sentence is spoken first this sentence is synthesized while the first sentence is spoken all right so we did this we got our base up now instead of this echo what i can do is um let me think of some use case okay so tgpt and uh, all right tgpt and give a answer answer under 100 words and then voice to text all right all right so my program is ready which is just a combination of three things one is chat gpt one is wask and the third thing is piper all right so let's just test this i'm so excited right now so let's just ask something press enter why people still use windows when we got linux okay so now chat gpt is you know giving the content um it's going to take uh, windows remains popular due to its user friendly interface wise wow, software what the, what the fuck? and extensive gaming support many businesses rely on windows for productivity tools and it offers a familiar environment for users while alternatives exist windows established presence and continuous updates contribute to its enduring popularity bro this was so not good she was just bullshitting but it worked okay the program is worked which is the irony like all right linux can do these kind of shit and windows cannot all right okay so i want to play with this i want to do more stuff like okay let's just try again um what should i ask um why arch linux is better than ubuntu okay so now i guess chat gpt is processing Arch Linux excels in customization and minimalism. Exactly. Offering a rolling release model for up-to-date software. Its archway philosophy prioritizes user control. However, its steep learning curve and manual setup may not suit everyone. Bro, you can even just ask some command. You can ask command and just run it, which is not safe at all, but I I can't explain like the kind of things which I can think of of doing from this thing. Like you can you know do ls and give the output of whatever the files you are seeing in this chat gpt and just ask uh, instead of grep you can just search create a program to just search like you know you can do a lot of cool shit with this so i'm going i might make some videos based on this i'll show you so you can even write a website uh, with the front end like voice to voice uh, conversation instead of chat gpt so 
I will make videos based on this, uh, but that's it for this video. I'm super happy that we found something, uh, some text to speech, which is usable. You can create audiobooks, complete audiobooks on your local machine, and you can even automate some YouTube channels. Uh, you know, I can automate mental outlook channel because he just read news. Uh, all right. So, okay. Thanks for watching this video.